Welcome back Northern Michigan. Justin, we're here in the uh, veggie garden and look at all the luscious greens. We're in the jungle. It is. It's crazy out here. And look at tomatoes. They might not be ready yet, but they're getting there. Right there. Over here, in just like the last two weeks, I mean, broccoli is incredible right now. I got one here, one over here. Step around the corner and these onions are just wow. Justin, what can you say, man? I mean, they're uh, gigantic. This, this is incredible. Yeah, things are really doing well. Um, you know, we've talked about this as, you know, it's important to start with the right soil. You know, yeah. the Veggie Do 301 has, is an organic soil. It's a potting soil we worked on and really has taken off now. Um, it has the minerals in there. It's got organic matter in there. And then you get the true taste like great grandpa used to have because you're really starting to dive into what the soil is giving us back. Yeah, and the zucchini, I mean, we just, they weren't like that three, four days ago. They were small little guys. I wanted them to grow. Well, I took a little vacation for a couple of days, and that's what we got. And here's our other one. Because how big the broccoli was, I transplanted the the peppers into this guy. I took a risk, and they are still doing great right now. So here we get the broccoli, or should we, uh, peppers. We got green beans, still some lettuce, and this potatoes. Lots and lots of potatoes. Hopefully, so Justin. I mean, the years past, we might have needed some help to it, but. Do you think it needs any type of uh, healthy garden? No, right now? right now, you know, and this is kind of, you know, setting this bed up from the onset right is, is important. And we did it, and the watering been really well. I mean, things just really clicked this year and look beautiful. If you have, if your garden um, doesn't look exactly like this or yeah. close to, um, if it's yellowing off some of your peppers or whatever, or they may need a little more nutrient, look at using the healthy garden. It's an organic product. It's a 7.65 and a 5% calcium. So tomatoes get some blossom and rot, and typically, that's due to a calcium deficiency is why you get blossom and rot. Okay. So this product here, you can help sprinkle around your tomatoes and scratch it in and then just water it in really well. So yeah. that would be a good option and that feeds everything. It's not just for tomatoes or whatever, it's for peppers and anything that you have. Now the liquid version you have your veggie blaster, is that just a short term quick burst roll right now? Yeah, so if you want something quick and, and uh, right now, you put the hose and sprayer in here, turn it on, and then make sure that you use like a figure eight or a crisscross motion and don't water with it. You just want to figure eight it just to feed it and then do it at the evenings or early in the morning and then you can use that as another alternative for food if your garden needs it. Yeah. Any other suggestions? I mean, I think no. we're looking pretty good right now. Tom, you're a professional grower, just like this. You're, I, I love yeah. it. It's, <laughs> it makes it fun again, right? It, it does. So I think we're it's just one of the best years so far, too. And, uh, you know, of course, it all comes down to how things are made at Morgan Composting, too. We'll be stepping out there later on next week.